Starbucks reported fiscal year 2023 first quarter results. I did a brief review of these figures and I took a deeper dive which I will do in future videos but in this video I'm gonna do a brief overview of all the critical results that you should know from Starbucks most recent earnings results so let's get right into it starting with overall revenue which increased by 8% in the first quarter to 8.7 billion earnings per share of 74 cents improved from an earnings per share of 69 cents in the first quarter of 2022 so overall starbucks continues to improve continues to grow continues to recover from the devastations during the pandemic but it's still not at full strength comparable store sales were up by 10 percent in the u.s but up only five percent globally due to the huge negative impact from China. So China in it this quarter that it's reporting on ended in December. So it's not yet incorporating all of the benefits from China's economic reopening, which will be incorporated in Starbucks next quarterly results. So in this in this report, what you see is still the negatives from China's lockdowns. China is Starbucks second greatest location density geography around the world. The first is the US, the second is China. So the fact that it was locked down was a huge headwind for for Starbucks, not only just in terms of revenue growth, but also uh, China is one of Starbucks most uh, focused growth area right it's trying to open a lot more locations in china and during lockdowns it was a lot harder for starbucks to start opening stores looking at new locations and opening up new locations so now that china's economy is reopening it can not only ramp up sales there but also accelerate store growth in the first quarter, active U.S. rewards members reached 30.4 million. This was up by 15% from the prior year and 6% from the from the previous quarter. This is awesome. This is really good news for Starbucks investors because these reward members tend to visit Starbucks more often and spend more each time they visit. And oh, by the way, this gives Starbucks a channel to communicate with 30 million of its enthusiasts, right? It can directly communicate with them through either e promotional emails or through the app, whatever it may be. If you're an active rewards member, you're probably checking into the Starbucks app frequently and you're also checking on emails from Starbucks frequently. So this is good news for Starbucks. Overall, it opened 459 net new stores in the first quarter, ending the period with 36,170 stores. Most of these stores, I would say about 300 out of, I would say about 320 out of the 460, uh, maybe a little more than that, significantly focused internationally, right? I think they only opened about 80 stores in the US and Canada. So most of their net new store growth is happening internationally. And if you want to know more about that, I've got several videos on the channel explaining why Starbucks is more focused on international growth. But the short, to to briefly summarize why they're so interested, more interested in growing internationally. One reason is because they're less saturated internationally. You see fewer Starbucks internationally, and also the fact that it costs less to run a store internationally so the so the operating expenses are are lower in international segments so it's operating profitability is higher internationally so that's why it's more focused on growing internationally compared to adding stores here in the u.s i mean you can just compare it to where you live you probably have several starbucks locations close by i know i've got like four within walking distance and so it starbucks is saturated here in the u.s at least you know in i live in los angeles it might be one of the more saturated cities in the, in in the country but um you know consider yourself and and uh, where you live and and see how saturated it is it is there if i'm if it's rare to see such saturation where i'm living then li let me know in the comments say hey parkev you're crazy it's not so saturated here where I, where i live it's only maybe in los angeles overall operating profit margins fell to 14.4% 
compared to 14.6% last year. This was due to rising wages, inflationary pressure, and the sales decrease in China. However, considering all of that, the fact that its operating margin only fell by 20 basis points was really impressive. Think about it. They gave wages wage increases to all of their employees, raising minimum wage and uh, the middle wages across the board. Uh, there's inflation going on across the board, right? The cost of nearly everything increased. And the, the, the significant sales declined in China where that segment was significantly constrained. So despite all of that, for its operating profit margin to only fall by 20 basis points was impressive. So overall, an excellent quarter from Starbucks. Starbucks was one of my 23 top stocks to buy in 2023. Following this quarter's results, I would reiterate that. I will keep them in my top 23 stocks to buy in 2023. I know the stock fell a little bit following th this earnings announcement. That's okay. The stock had run up really well for 2023. It was already up a great deal. And so to pull back a little bit, that's okay. That wasn't concerning to me. I really like the figures in this report. And I like the fact that it's going to catch a tailwind from China's economic reopening. All right, so that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.